Nelson is missing. The kids in room 207 was misbehaving again. Spitball stuck to the ceiling. Paper planes whizzed through the air. They were the worst behaved in the whole school. Now settle down, said Miss Nelson in a sweet voice. But the class wouldn't settle down. They whispered and giggled and squirmed and made faces. They were even roared during story hour. And they always refused to do their lesson. Something will have to be done, said Miss Nelson. The next morning, Miss Nelson did not come to school. Wow, yelled the kids. Now we can really act up. They began to make more spitballs and paper planes. Today, let's be just terrible, they said. Not so fast, his them on Pleasant voice. A woman in an ugly black dress stood before them. I am your new teacher, Miss Viola Swamp. And she wrapped the desk with the ruler. Where is Miss Nelson? asked the kids. Never mind that, snapped Miss Swamp. Open those amateuric books, Miss Nelson. Kids did as they are told. They could see that Miss Swamp was a real witch. She meant boss. Business. Right away, she put them to work, and she loaded them down with the homework. We'll have no story hour today, said Miss Swamp. Keep your mouth shut, said Miss Swamp. Sit perfectly still, said Miss Swamp. And if you misbehave. You'll be sorry, said Miss Swamp. The kids in room 207 never worked so hard. Days went by, and there was no sign of Miss Nelson. The kids missed Miss Nelson. Maybe we should try to find her, they said. Some of them went to the police. Detective Miss Mark was assigned to the case. He listened to the, their story. He scratched his chin. Mm, he said, mm, I think Miss Nelson is missing. That's Steve Miss Mark. Max Mark. Max Mark would not <clears throat> much help. Other kids went to Miss Nelson's house. The shades were tightly drawn and no one answered the door. In fact, the only person they did see was the wicked Miss Viola Swamp coming up the street. If she sees us, she'll give us more homework. They got away just in time. Maybe something terrible happened to Miss Nelson. 
Maybe she was gobbled up by a shark, said one of the kids. But that didn't seem likely. Maybe it's not one to Mars, said another kid. But that didn't seem likely either. I know. It exclaimed one know it all. Maybe Miss Nelson's car was carried up by a swarm of angry butterflies, but that was the least likely of all. The kids in room 207 became very disgusted. The discouraged. Discouraged. It seemed that Miss Nelson was never coming back, and they would be stuck with Miss Viola Swamp forever. They heard footsteps in the hall. Here comes the witch, they whispered. Hello, children. Someone in a sweet voice. Someone said in a sweet voice. It was Miss Nelson. Did you miss me? She asked. We certainly did, cried the kids. Where you were you? That's my little secret, said Miss Nelson. How about a story hour? Oh, yes, cried the kids. Miss Nelson noticed that during story hour, no one was rude or silly. What brought about this lovely change? She asked. That's your little secret, said the kids. Back home, Miss Nelson took up her coat and hung it in the closet, right next to to an ugly black dress. When it was time for bed, she sang a little song. I'll never tell, she said to herself with a smile. P.S. Detective Miss Smog is working on a new case. He is now looking for Miss Viola Swan.